Hey traders, TJ Watkins here. It is April 18th when I'm recording this. Hope you guys are all doing well. And I just want to bring you over to the, uh, well, Twitter X page. I do think it's interesting. I was kind of looking at this the other day that they still call it Twitter right up and through here. So I wonder when they're going to change that. Anyway, uh, we look at this, some posts that I've been doing. I figured I'd show you guys one of the more recent trades that we took. This was uh, MNSO. And we traded it to the long side up here, right after earnings. And I want to call your attention right here to the hourly Moxie price trigger. Just perfect, real nice. And that sent mark sent it up there. Uh, we got out of it up here at resistance, uh, which was perfect because it pulled back basically the next day. And then it chopped around for a little bit. And I could see that this market was starting to get a little bit tired and, and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, okay, I think this one, you know, we've got some moxie setups here, really clean stuff that based on what we look at and the rules that we have, that this thing was going to also move down. And so sure enough, we shorted it there because if you look here in the top right, you can see that we also got a moxie price trigger to the downside on the hourly time frame. Now this one paid off very nicely. It was two days. We we went short and boom, second day gave us a 10%, you know, real nice clean 10% move. And it went right to the target that I was looking at and that I guided people in. So we got 18% uh, on the way up we got 10% on the way down, pretty decent. And uh, the moxie indicator was just all over this thing. All the moxie rules, everything just worked out beautifully and perfectly for this one. And uh, now we got price moving back up again. I have a feeling that this is going to be another good short. So I'm looking around to probably re-enter this on the short side. And if you guys are interested in catching that with me, you know, come on over to the Moxie room. We are running specials all the time. I don't know why that thing doesn't keep loading sometimes. But basically, it's uh, simplertrading.com slash Moxie. And we got $7 trials that you guys want to come in and check them out for. Uh, do that and also the Simpler Central room. So as far as the market goes, you know, it's still very heavy, but I do think we're getting to an area where we should bounce. Uh, clearly it hasn't been working yet. So I've been taking a couple little pot shots, you know, no big deal. I like to trade off of the, um, the leverage S um, ETF, you know, SPXL. And so somewhere eventually we're going to, we're going to move up, but now we have to figure out, okay, when and where is that going to happen? And today was another, I was doing a lot of um, commenting on day trading today. And with today's pop, I'll just show you guys this. I'm glad that I have the Moxie rules because it actually kept me out of a trade today. So if we look, let me get that, there we go. If we look at this, we saw a nice big morning move. And I hope none of you guys chased it because I was looking at this I was like, ooh, okay, the yeah, market's doing what I wanted it to do. But I don't want to go chase it up and through here. I'm going to wait for a pullback. And we've got the Moxie rules that told me don't go long right here. And as the market was coming up there, I actually sent alerts to the Moxie subscribers and I said, hey, great morning, looking at this. I don't want to chase it, but I do want to see if I can find a pullback for these reasons. And sure enough, that pullback started to happen, uh, but it just kept going. So I'm trying to look bullish in through here. This is a bigger downside move than I expected, but I didn't trade it to the long side. So I'm happy to have stepped aside and just missed it. And now that gives me the, the peace of mind to be able to just sit back, relax, and wait for the next setup. And we'll see if that actually happens anytime soon. So I think we still have some earnings out there that might be uh, uh, pushing the market around. But um, yeah, I, th I think eventually we're going to get that move to the upside. We just have to be patient and look for when that's really going to happen. So stay on your game, you know, figure out, do you want to day trade? If you do, okay, stick around, be at your computer. There's lots of action. And if this is not the market for you, hey, step aside, it'll pass and just give it some, some breathing room, go, you know, work on some puzzles or read some books or do something else that you've been meaning to do for a while. All right, guys. So thanks again. And uh, we'll catch you at the next one. Hey, TG here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like or comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my market analysis. Or you can join my free newsletter with the link in the description. Good trading, and I'll see you at the next video.